What's up everyone? It's your boy named Jamie and today we are back to our roots with a little free to play money making guide. Now the amazing thing about this free to play money making method is that it is also a members money making method. So after doing this in free to play, if you enjoy it and get a bond from it, you can transfer the skills over that you have learned and keep doing this in the members worlds for even more money. This is great because I know a lot of new members can kind of get stuck not knowing what to do because hopping from free to play to membership is sometimes like playing a whole new game. Now, before we start the guide, remember to subscribe. Recently, the amount of my viewers who subscribe to the channel rose from 4% to 5%, so thanks so much for that. Your continued support really does mean a ton to me. For those of you who are not subscribed, however, remember subscribing to the channel really does help me out a lot and I have a dream to reach 1K subscribers, so if you enjoy the content, help me get there. Also, as always on these types of videos, as a little bonus incentive to subscribe, I will be doing another Bond giveaway. To be entered into the giveaway, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and comment your RuneScape name down below. Also, shout out to 12 Sec Honda for winning the last giveaway. Hopefully you're enjoying the membership. Additionally, if you're looking for a community, feel free to join my Discord in the description. It lets you gain access to all my content right as it's released, ask people questions about the game, share your achievements, and overall connect with other RuneScape players. We started also doing Discord only giveaways as well, so if you need a bit of cash or you just want to chill with the boys, come join the Discord down below. Now to start this guide, let's go over the stat requirements. The only skill requirement for this method is to have 150 total levels. It doesn't matter what skills give you those levels, you just need to be over 150. For your inventory, you're going to need a ring of dueling, but even this isn't needed since you can just run to where we are going today. Today we are going to the Ferrix Enclave in world 326. The reason for this is that located within these worlds is a wilderness safe zone which has the minigame Last Man Standing. Last Man Standing is one of the newest minigames for old school RuneScape and it has gone through a bunch of changes, but overall the minigame works like this. You and 23 players are teleported into an arena and are given the same stats and inventories. It is then your job to win multiple 1v1s until only one person is left standing, basically like every other battle royale game out there today. Now, Last Man Standing has a few different variations you can enter into, including casual, competitive, and high stakes. But for this money making method, we are going to focus on competitive. You see, in competitive, you are rewarded points during the minigame for doing the following few things. Finishing anywhere from 1st place to 8th place, or getting 5 kills. You can then take these points and spend them at Justine's shopping stand right outside the minigame. In this shopping center, Justine has many different rewards, but the one we are going to focus on is Adam and Arrows. Currently, you can exchange one point for 350 Adam and Arrows, which are worth exactly 14,000 GP. Now, doing some quick math and making some quick assumptions, let's assume the average game takes about 5 minutes to play. I've seen games end as quick as 3 to 4 minutes, but let's just assume it's 5. That means on average you can get about 12 points per hour, which translates to almost 200k per hour, and this is the minimum estimate. In theory, you could earn up to 5 points per 10 minutes with a bit of skill and a lot of luck. And doing so would net you 420k GP per hour, which is crazy for a free to play method that has basically no skill or gear requirements. Now, one thing I mentioned at the start of this video that is super important to think about when considering whether you want to do this moneymaker or not that extends beyond how much GP you'll make per hour is the fact that it carries over to members worlds and there it is even better. Because unlike free to play worlds, there are no skill requirements there. And additionally, instead of getting points for finishing anywhere from first to eighth place, you get points for finishing anywhere from first to 19th place, which is crazy because there are only 24 people in the game and considering people sometimes leave the game because they have stuff going on or that there are bots in the game who leave, you basically get points every game as a guarantee regardless of your skill level. Additionally, a single point in Members Worlds can be worth up to 40,000 gold instead of 14,000. Meaning that on average, since the threshold to get points is so much lower in Members Worlds, we can assume you will get a single point every 2 minutes, which is 30 points per hour. 
This would mean that as a starting money making method with no gear and no skill requirements, you can make around 1.2 million GP per hour with relatively little effort, which is pretty good. Now, if you are still watching this, I would like to say thank you. But additionally, I'd like to say that I know a lot of you are definitely probably thinking two things. The first is that you don't like PvP in old school, so this method is no good for you, and trust me, I understand this mentality. I've been playing this game for over a decade, and surprisingly enough, I have never even PK'd in this game until recently. And one thing I will say is that I was unbelievably surprised when I found out how enjoyable PvP could be. Each fight is something completely different, and there are so many possibilities to outplay your opponent and have fun with it. And I think by opening your eyes and giving PvP a try, you really can open up a range of enjoyment on this game that you simply couldn't get with just sticking to PvM. Additionally, a point that stems from this line of thinking is that one of the greatest things about this money-making method is how enjoyable it is. A lot of money-making methods out there, while they may be good money per hour, are ultimately unbelievably boring and make you want to slam your head against a wall. And because of this, they are hard to keep up over time, which is no good because if you can't will yourself to do it, then you're not making any GP per hour. But with Last Man Standing, I could easily see myself playing this for multiple hours per day and making absolute bank. And hopefully after you try it, you can too. Now, the second thing you might be thinking is that you are no good at PvP. So even if you are not opposed to doing it, you don't have the skill to get the points. And while I understand this concern, I want you to remember that a lot of people who know how to PvP aren't playing Last Man Standing. That is because those people who know how to PvP are most likely geared up PKing in the wilderness or with a clan in Deep Wild or just doing something better with their time. A lot of people who are actually doing Last Man Standing are Ironmen who most likely don't know how to PK but have to for the rewards or people of low skill level trying to learn how to PK just like you. And because of this fact, the playing field is actually way more even than you would think it would be. Me, as an absolute and complete noob who I swear to god can't even switch to mage and barrage during a fight because it's too overwhelming, still was able to get at least one kill during 80 to 90% of my games. Literally within the second game ever playing, I actually managed to win first place killing 6 people. This fact alone really goes to show that anyone, like absolutely anyone, can come do this activity with success. And this leads me into my final thoughts for this video, and that is the very few tips I have to offer when playing this game. As a complete noob, I do not claim in any way to be good at PKing, but the few things I found useful and led me to win many fights is as follows. Number 1. Start off with your DDS spec. Most people to start a fight instantly try and barrage you to hold you in place. During this phase, you can easily fake like you're going for a crossbow shot so that they prey range, and then run in for a huge melee spec. You are likely to hit because they are praying incorrectly most of the time, and because they only have on robes. Even if you don't hit super high, this melee spec will throw off 70% of players because of how new they are to PvP, and will likely cause them to panic. This panic can allow you to get multiple hits in while they recover, giving you a huge food advantage. Now, number two is to focus only on a few switches. Now, while you are given three different attack styles and each is very important in Last Man Standing, I find that people take the most damage when they are trying to barrage other people because in terms of switches, it is by far the most difficult to pull off. And this is because you have to manually click into your spell book to actually cast Barrage, and that really complicates and just really confuses new players in PvP. And because of this, if you just stick to attacking your opponent with range and melee, which are the easier switches to manage by far, you can actually win most first round fights because you just have less to manage, meaning you'll be more accurate in putting out damage, and more importantly, you, you'll be more accurate in praying correctly against the damage coming in, which means you're taking way less damage, which is also super important. Now, number three is to set up your F keys. These are going to be the keys at the top of your keyboard that allow you to quickly switch between your inventory to prayer and back. To set these up, come down here to the tool icon, then click into the last interface, which looks like a joystick. 
In here, you should see an option represented by F1 key. Click into that and this interface should pop up onto your screen. From here, by clicking into the drop-down menus, you can switch which F keys are assigned to which different menus. Now, personally, I like to set my inventory to F1, prayer book to F2, attack style to F3, and spell book to F4, but play around with it and find what works best for you, since it's a lot of personal preference and there's no really right way to do it. And finally, tip number four is to set up your inventory prior to going into battle. Outside the minigame here to the left, you can choose how you want your inventory to look. Personally, I like to have my inventory set up like this since it keeps my switches in the best places for me. But again, feel free to play around with it. I don't think there's a best way to set up your inventory besides however works for you. Feel free to copy my setup though and give it a go and see how it works for you. Now, before I go, I know this video didn't have much knowledge on how to win the PvP fights that actually take place during the minigame. So because of that, I'm going to leave a link down below to a guide that is frankly way better than anything I could have done here. His video is super simple to follow and gives you all the basics you could ever want to win any fight in Last Man Standing. So make sure to check it out if you're interested in gaining more knowledge to make more money. And with that, I'm going to end the video here. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video and it sparked a new interest in the game that you can enjoy and make money from. As always, remember to like, comment, and subscribe on the video if you enjoyed it, and for a chance at the giveaway. Additionally, join the Discord in the description, we'd love to have you. And finally, remember my name is Jamie, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!